Welcome. Today's lesson is on soil texture analysis, the jar test procedure. Soil is a medium comprised of soil particles, organic matter, water, air, and the living organisms, all of which are important to the overall health of the soil and the plants that grow in it. The three primary soil particles are sand, silt, and clay. The relative percentages of these components make up the soil's texture. Texture is important to the overall soil and plant health as it relates to soil porosity, which refers to the pore spaces where air and water reside. The ideal texture is a mix of sand, silt, and clay particles, known as loam. In some cases, the particles will not be balanced and the soil will need to be altered by adding organic amendments. To evaluate soil texture, Use a simple jar test to determine the percentages of sand, silt, and clay. Once the percentages are calculated, the soil texture triangle can be used to determine the soil type. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to um, actually use this jar test to determine the soil texture. And some of the imp important parts to this are the following. This mortar and pestle and of course the soil. Now this mortar and pestle were used to crush some of the uh, particles so we can get a more consistent product and the other thing too is we've also used a sieve much like this one um, to actually sift out some of the rocks and some of the large uh, components and particles that couldn't be um, mashed down with the the mortar and pestle so you have to do that to your so uh, soil you're going to when you get it you want to try to make it as uniform as possible so that's one of the, the items that we have to have Another thing that we must have is, of course, a permanent marker so we can uh, track and, and write on the jar itself what's going on at some parts in time. We'll need some kind of a ruler. We're going to need some water to mix up the soil. Uh, we're also going to need some of this uh, powdered detergent. This powdered detergent will help us uh, be able to separate the clay particles uh, from the silt particles. And then, of course, our star of the day, this jar. The jar and the soil itself from the garden. Now, in this case, if you take a look, it's about a third to a half way filled up with the soil. And uh, that's what we're going to be using today to uh, determine what texture that particular soil is now. So... We have all of this, and don't forget, we're also going to need a stopwatch uh, because we're going to be timing everything. So there's, uh, there's what we're going to be starting with. So let's get to it. All right, we used a, a mesh as well as a mortar and pestle uh, to sift through this uh, soil to remove any rocks, debris, and large, or, uh, large organic matter such as sticks, stones, uh, roots, that kind of stuff. So we want to uh, fill it up about three quarters of the way that we've already have here. As you can see that we have already filled it up. And let's start it over again. I'm going to fill the jar to one third part of soil that, that will be tested. Our next step is going to fill this up with water. So we're going to have to remove obviously the top of it. We're going to leave a little bit of space near the top. So fill the remainder of the jar with clean water, but leave some space at the top. We call kind of call that head space. Okay, step number four. Step number four is we're going to now uh, put add one tablespoon of powdered dishwashing detergent to the mix. Then we're going to cap the jar and shake vigorously until it turns into some type of slurry. set for exactly one minute. After your one minute is up, now you're going to carefully mark where the actual sand is settling. Let's see what we've got here. So what we've discovered in this first minute that all of this right here is sand. It looks like there's still some sand starting to settle, but for right now this is where we're going to put our mark for sand. You can see a little bit more of it right down here let's get a little closer yeah here's some sand so from here to down there that's going to be our sand mark 
Now we're gonna let this sit for another uh, couple of hours and um, we'll see what it, we'll come back and see what it looks like. Using a ruler, we're now gonna measure and record the height of each layer and the total height of all three. We're gonna use a soil analysis worksheet below to get our results. So really what we're doing now is we're just gonna measure each one of these and see that the sand was at three centimeters. And if we go to the silt line, it's 6.5. And then the clay layer is like, is 0.5. So we have a three meters, excuse me, not three meters, three centimeters, six centimeters, and then one more centimeter makes it seven. I, I still not, I, I still don't think this one is quite finished. You can see that little light line. I'm sure it's gonna get a little bit bigger as time moves on. So there's what we have. Now what we're gonna do is go to the computer and also do the all the analysis. Now that we have the jar pretty much settled in, we have our all of our um, measurements placed on the jar, let's talk a little bit about the really important stuff, like analyzing all this data. So what if we can put all those lines up, but what does it mean as far as our soil texture? Now, we could take our soil samples and take them to a lab and have it all tested up. Um, but there's something ab about being able to determine uh, on our own. Now, this isn't a super accurate way, but it gives you an idea of how you might be able to uh, use this uh, in a situation where you, you can't afford to continually send stuff off to the lab. So let's take a look at the data. And uh, here is it, what it looks like at this point in time. We have a total of seven centimeters from the very bottom of, of where the, um, the glass is to the very tip top of where the soil is. So we have seven total centimeters and that's really important because we're gonna to have to come up with the, the actual uh, percentages of sand, silt, and clay. And uh, the first thing that we measured is a three centimeters of sand. That didn't take long, 60 seconds, and all of, all of that, that heavy grit just uh, 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 fell right down to the bottom, filled it in, and I, we were able to take a look at it and it was up to three centimeters. Now we let it go for another two uh, hours, and then we had, of course, another layer laid down at 3.5 centimeters. That's the silt layer. Now remember, the sand is the stuff that goes first because it's heavy. If you've ever been around a creek or a stream, you'll notice that there is a lot of the uh, sand right on the beach up front, usually. Primarily because it was the first to drop because it's heavier. And then as you get a little further out away from the, possibly the floodplain, you'll notice a different kind of uh, material, and that would be silt. So it took two, two hours or so, and we got a separation of another 3.5 centimeters. And then at the very tip top, what we have is a 0.5 centimeters. Now, we let it set for 48 hours. I think after another day or two, it's actually going to get uh, uh, thicker. You can see the light color right above our silt line. That is clay, microscopic. Um, it gets carried further down, like for instance, in streams and creeks, because it's very, very small. So what? how are we going to actually calculate the percentages? Well, it's pretty simple. We've got a three centimeter uh, layer. We have a 3.5 centimeter layer, and we have a 0.5. All that adds up. Uh, to seven centimeters. That's going to be our total, and that's the thing we're going to do, uh, divide into it. So for sand, we're going to take three centimeters, and we're going to divide it by seven, because that's the total. And that comes out to 0.428. You multiply that by 100, and now we're at 43%. So sand is 43% of our, uh, of our sample. And then the next one is silt. Silt uh, is a little bit larger uh, than the sand, so it's 3.5 centimeters. And you multiply that by 7, and then you'll get an even 0.5 or, or 50% when you multiply it by 100. So we have 43% of this uh, 
of this experiment is going to be for 43% uh, of it is going to be sand 50% is going to be silt to recap we have a three centimeter sand layer 3.5 centimeter silt layer and then a 0.5 uh, centimeter clay layer when we uh, run it through the math we saw that we got 43% for sand 50% for silt and of course 7% for clay so all of that should add up to 100 and it does and that leaves us to all right now what is the soil type what, what kind of texture is it well um let's let's take a look i'm gonna go ahead and actually escape out of here and then that way it, we, we have it live so what we're going to first of all do is we're going to get the clay layer now understand uh when we have this clay layer this this triangle you got to look at all the lines on the inside because it's really important to do that Clay starts at the apex here at 100 and goes down to zero on the left side. Um, if you're looking at clay, it goes straight across. So really, when we, we're talking about clay, we're going to be using this, this lower bar here. So it goes from zero to 100, and, and, and it, has, has, it goes across horizontally. Now that you know how actually the clay fits into this triangle, the next thing that we're going to do is taking a look where sand fits in. The sand is kind of operated here by this by this red stick. So anything that's on that line is going to be representing sand. So when we're looking at 43%, we're just um, going right over here. And when it says 43%, that diagonal that I've been talking about, this is going to be that diagonal for sand and sand only. So we'll put that one back. And that leaves us with silt. Silt is 50%, and that represents, that diagonal represents uh, silt. So you can uh, put it on that line as well. So um, and that would be silt. This would be clay. So let's take a look and see, see what we have. Now, we know that we have 7% sand. So we're going to go ahead and raise the bar up to 7% right here. That's all the way across. Then on sand, we're going to take that and go to sand, and that's at 43%. And once that's finished, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to silt at 50%. When I do that, you'll notice there is a... Uh, intersection of three different lines that represents when I put that right there that's the intersection of those three and that means that the soil type is going to be a loam or close to a silt loam it's kind of right in the in the middle I'd probably call it loam because it's just a little bit on the inside part of loam so that's how you would uh, use this particular tool to be able to decipher all of these different percentages and then you'll be able to know what texture you have on your particular soil all right i hope that has helped you a lot uh, today and we hope to see you uh, in the greenhouse thanks again bye